Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel Lesson Plan Corner. Today in this video, we will see what is a micro teaching skills and how many types of micro teaching skills are there. If you need the PDF, then do please do comment me in the comment section below, or uh, then I will give you PDF of this micro teaching skills. Now let's see what is a micro teaching skills. But before that, we will have to see what is a micro teaching. Okay, so basically, micro teaching is a training that that is usually given to teacher training. Okay, if you are doing BA, then you must know about this. That what is micro teaching? It is basically a training that is given to BA students, and it is a technique where the teacher review is recorded after a teacher session. So nowadays, uh, this recording system is not there, uh, but earlier it was there when it was first started. Okay, in order to get con constructive feedback from peers. So basically, what happens is a teacher trainee has to demonstrate everything, and their peer mm -hmm. groups they have to give feedback. Okay, so micro teaching was first invented in nineteen sixty. At Stanford University by D. D. White Allen. Okay. Now let's see some definition of micro teaching. According to Allen, micro teaching is a scaled down teaching encounter in class size and time. In this process, a teacher asks to prepare a short lesson for a small group of learners who may not have been their own students. Then this was then recorded on video. So this is a basically scaled down process and in this process a teacher is asked to prepare a short short lesson we can say for a peer of means for their peers and they have to demonstrate he or she have to demonstrate in front of them and after that the peers they also have to evaluate they have to give their feedback okay so while teaching to students teacher has to plan everything it's a difficult to know every skills because teacher has a lot of skills that we need to apply while teaching from writing to explaining teacher has to use various skill that is made for teaching so while teacher teach to students he or she have to use many skills and today in this video we will see all that skills one by one so basically there are three uh, sorry six type of skill first one is introduction skill that is called as prastavna kaushal second is blackboard skill shampat kaushal explanation skill vyakhyan kaushal probing kaushal skills anushilan prashna kaushal stimulus variation skills uddipan parivartan kaushal last one is reinforcement skill that is punar balan kaushal okay so first we will see what is introduction question so if teacher is okay we will see what is introduction question introduction is a skill that teacher usually use first in their teaching process when teacher enter class she is supposed to use this skills first in this skill teacher introduce her lesson to students by asking some questions as we have already learned uh, you know while we are demonstrating to students we first have to ask them list of question before announcing our topic okay so teacher ask question to check a previous knowledge of students and to link their past experience with present knowledge so what teacher do is teacher try to understand the level of their knowledge what student is already aware of so for that teacher ask series of question like four to five question teacher ask to students so this is known as introduction skills okay now objectives of introduction skills first is mentally prepares okay first one is mentally prepare students for teaching so what teacher do is if she is trying to teach to students first they have to teacher has to prepare students them mentally for that teacher what ha teacher have to do is teacher have to ask 
list of question that is called as introduction question so basically teacher asks this question so that students can be attentive and they can be mentally prepared to learn what you are teaching is teaching a teacher is teaching to them second is to check previous knowledge so this way teacher also want to know that what students are already aware of okay so teacher want to check their previous knowledge third one is to check attention so what teacher try to do is this way uh, uh, means teacher ask series of question so this way teacher also try to bring focus on their topic okay so that way students also become active in class okay last one is to link past experience with present knowledge so teacher ask question that students are already aware of okay so what why teacher do this because teacher want to connect their past experience with present knowledge okay here you can see list of introduction question here you can see introduction part okay so this is lesson plan or introduction question you can see here so this is part of plant uh, this is introduction part on part of plant okay here you can see our second skill and second skill is blackboard work here you can see okay so blackboard is very effective way of teaching it is a visual aid okay and it has its many advantages blackboard blackboard is very uh, we can say it is it is very budget friendly also so teacher can use it and it is visual aid also so teacher should use this while teaching to students and uh, if teacher is teaching with this means with blackboard then students can grab everything very quickly so teacher use blackboard to write main points or to draw diagram or to write any hard meaning word okay now here you can see there are some points that teacher need to follow while using blackboard work first one is cleaning of blackboard so teacher has to be aware of that blackboard should look neat and clean if it is not then teacher also have to rub everything that is unnecessary on blackboard to avoid any confusion among students second here you can see neatness in blackboard work so if teacher is writing something on blackboard their their handwriting should be clean and there should there should be adequate space between lines and teacher also should avoid to overwrite anything on blackboard to avoid an, any type of confusion among students okay third here you can see use colorful chalk to highlight or to draw any diagram so teacher also have to use many colorful chalks so that it can create interest among students also third one here you can see probing question skills so in this skills to uh, teacher ask a mini question to students the art of asking question play an important role in teaching learning process so with this means with if teacher ask question to students student will also student will also be attentive in class so it makes them interested in content and in this process the main thing is that teacher proceed their teaching on the basis of response given by students now let's see components of probing question skill first one is prompting so if, if student is not able to give answer of any question or if teacher is not getting desired answer then teacher use this teacher gives them hints or clue to get their desired answer so for that they actually what they do is they do not give exact answer but they give some type of hint or clue so that student give the answer easily it contains series of question this is to know how much students know about the content 
that teacher is going to teach to students second is seeking further information so this technique is used when students give incomplete or partial correct answer teacher then ask more question and create situation in which student is made to think and respond that teacher throw many question like why how etc means this technique is used when student is giving partial correct correct or incomplete answer then what teacher do is teacher ask them series of question so that they want to actually create the situation where student can give the answer third is refocusing it is used when students give correct answer when the student replied correctly teacher correct that answer to previous knowledge connect that answer to previous knowledge refocusing is used to initiate the student to make res student response more effective so basically this technique is used to connect previous to connect past uh, to connect past experience with previous knowledge here you can see redirection so this is used when student gives incomplete or incorrect answer then teacher ask the same question to many student if student is giving answer that is incorrect or incomplete then teacher ask the same question to another students of classroom here you can see increasing critical awareness so this is used to in increase critical awareness of students the teacher ask question like why and how this is to know how much student know about that particular content okay so basically teacher ask this question to know how much students understand this topic so teacher can ask like please explain it or how can you say so what is the reason behind it if yes then please explain how like this okay after this here you can see explanation skill so here teacher explain their topic properly and uh, here you can see while teaching to them teacher uses audio visual aid okay and uh, if teacher is using teaching aid then st student will learn everything very quickly teacher should try to explain student with the help of model or flex chart that comes under visual aid so teacher should use teaching aid while teaching to students here you can see tips first simple language so if teacher is teaching to students then their language should be simple second one here you can see it is not beginning statement but here you can write mother tongue or means whatever language they are comfortable with teacher has to teach them with their or uh, with that, that language okay here you can see component of explanation skill first one is beginning statement what is beginning statement if teacher is teaching them about water cycle then first they have to clear that that today we are going to teach or uh, we are going to learn about this or that particular topic you know st uh, teacher has to first announce that uses of example so teacher also have to use is use examples while teaching to students that way student will understand everything very easily and very quickly third here you can see uses of uh, fluency in language so teacher should be fluent in their own language if she is teaching in hindi then uh, you know their hindi should be understand and uh, should be like understandable by students or if english then it should also be fluent okay for fourth thing you can see use of teaching aid so while teaching to student teacher should use teaching aid to make teaching effective fifth here is clear difficult word so teacher also have to clear their difficult words while teaching to students sixth you can see question to students understanding so after teaching them teacher has to also question to students so teacher can understand how much they understood okay last one concluding statement so if teacher is teaching them any particular topic after explaining them teacher have to tell them that today we have learned about this like water cycle or today we have learned about photosynthesis like this they have to give their concluding statement okay so in next video we will see what is stimulus variation skill and 
part 2 if you need the pdf then please comment me yes in the comment section below we will meet in next video with stimulus variation skills and other another skills till then bye bye take care